of useful. Oh, wow. You thought you'd slip past me, you stupid fucking box. What's in the box? Oh. Is that garbage? <sighs> so anyway, uh, there's a group of people that are very upset about the voice character because they roleplay and have a different voice in their mind for what the character would sound like. And they, you know, that's fair, I suppose. Um... However, the character does have a backstory, so I'd say, you know what? Well, too bad. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, if you play like something like Fallout 3, you know, you have a preset backstory. You know, your character is 19 years old and stuff like that. But New Vegas, you know, it's pretty um, open, so you can kind of create a character's backstory if you want. Which, in terms of role-playing a character, does help. Because it's like, oh, well, maybe they're from so-and-so and shit like that. And then maybe that will give them different motives. That's fine and dandy. And we're in Fallout, New, or Fallout 4. Um, you know, you're set into this suburban lifestyle. Uh, you're set into a relationship already. Um, so there's not much you can do. You know, you can't say, oh, well, I'm a southern United States or, you know. Uh, so you would imagine usually someone like that would have a different voice than perhaps someone from, you know, the Commonwealth or someone from Britain. And that's fine and dandy for the, uh, you know, for imagining a voice on a character in a game where you don't have a preset backstory. Um, so yeah, it's whatever. I think those people just need to get over it. Uh, so just don't, you can't create a backstory. Like, deal with it, you know? Um... It's whatever. Let's see. However, the part that I'm conflicted on is not necessarily the, um... Uh, it's them, them speaking. It's basically the, uh... Uh, the, the dialogue... I don't want to call it a wheel, but I'll call it... I'll call it... I will call it the dialogue wheel. Um, that is where I feel... It might bump into some problems, because... Uh, if you play Mass Effect... Oh, gosh... And then you play Dragon Age 2, and then this game. You know, you notice problems with the, um... You know, the, the dialogue wheel is... You know, they don't like to spell out the full sentence. Yeah, spell out. Spell out a sentence. Uh, they don't like to write out the full sentence. So, you don't really know exactly what they're gonna say. Paraphrasing is a bitch. Paraphrasing's lame. Um... <clears throat> And, ho and, pr and it seems like the, the, the dialogue is going to be more limited and whatnot. I don't, I can't even, can I, can I even get up this way? I know normally this is, that's where I'd jump down from, but, yeah, fuck, whatever. Looks like I did everything down here then. Um, what is this? Astrarium. Uh, yeah, let's go to the Astrarium, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, bud. Um... Yeah, the uh, the dialogue it seems pretty um, you know, paraphrased. That's not cool, man. <sighs> so, and that's especially, you know, going back to the Dragon Age 2 stuff. There are instances in there, you know, the character just says something that is completely different than you expected. Uh, in Dragon Age 2, for example, there are probably maybe a dozen options, just just some aggressive options alone. Like when I play Dragon Age 2, my preferred character is one who uses all these uh, red aggress aggressive options, right? And there are a lot of inconsistencies with the character that I wanted to role play. Um, it's like, okay, I don't care if people use blood magic, fine, whatever. And I'm a fucking asshole, you know. And then I'm playing through it, and it's like, oh, I picked a red option just because it was a red option, which you know, oh great, one option for asshole characters. And like Origins, where you have more than just one uh, straightforward option um, for the kind of character that you want to play. Over there, Venatori. Tough bunch ahead, or they think they are. So in Origins, you might have the, you know, you might have a goody two shoes option, you might have a neutral option, you might have a gray option, and then you might have a jackass option, a sarcastic option. Usually, it might be uh, a little random between a couple of those. Or not random, but um, you know, not, you know, you you will always have a good um, and a jackass option, and then sometimes, you know, a neutral gray or sarcastic, depending on the situation or whatever. 
Um, and then when, as these game, as the, you know, these Bioware games go on, it's like they you don't really have the amount of you know dialogue variety. It just, it just isn't there. So you know, Dragon Age 2, it's like okay, I'm a jackass. I just, I guess I just pick all the red options all game. Sure, why not? Which is you know kind of lame. Whereas if I was playing a jackass in Origins, you know, I don't have to be a complete dickhead every time. You know, I maybe I might go for the sarcastic option. That's still, you know, cynical in some way. Um, so I'm trying to think how I could uh, further describe this, but maybe I, maybe I got it covered. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this one. Looks pretty easy, huh? Quite thought thought provoking. You know, you don't have to understand here to be here, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's see. Um a fucking dog statue, you got a cave. Let's see. Oh hey, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go kill the wyvern. Um Do I wanna go down here? Now this looks like this would be a dead end. But can I loot anything? Oh yes, you bet your bottom dollar I can. Sure, why not? Oh, a belt of healing. 5% heal bonus. Wow. That's fucking garbage. Ah, <sighs> whatever. It's like, really? I'm not going to be healing all that much. 5% is not anything, really. Let's see. So I think I covered the voice character. I really hope I didn't m leave anything out, because my thoughts are all over the damn place. Okay, now on to crafting. Um... Let's see, in Fallout 4, the uh, the crafting table did look kind of neat. And this crafting is going to tie into uh, stat-related stuff because it looks like uh, it looks like skill points in terms of their uh, the skill points in the traditional sense. It seems like that is gone because when uh, they were going through the pit boys, it's a bottle. Hey, it's a bottle. It even sip sip. Careful, this one's mean. Attic raised mean. Popular among highborn who wish to seem dangerous, but more at home grasped by the neck by those who actually are. Wait, what? I guess I guess the alcoholic beverage is mean. Sure, why not? Oh hey, how's it going? What's up? Away! Hey, can I play? No, get the fuck back here! Where are you going? Don't you run in circles around me, you fucking asshole. So anyway, yeah, uh... Okay, you know what? Fine. You guys do that. I'll take care of these fucking assholes. You guys are annoying me. Uh, oh gosh, Cassandra, what the hell happened to you? Uh, also, it looks like... Because I, I, have, I have the toggle... The toggle radial menu. And originally that was that didn't work very well. Like, you see how Sarah has three out of four of the yellow thing? Um, and then these others have three out of three. Well, previously, if I switched to Sarah from Cassandra here, for example, it would still show the three out of three. It, it, like, it would be showing Cassandra's radial menu, or whoever I was on before I went to Sarah. Um, you know, and then when I switched up to me, and then it would update to Sarah's, um, three out of four thing. So when I updated the game, it fixed that too, which is nice. Um... So whatever. Hey, let's um, let's do that because I don't I don't want to use another potion. So whatever. Return to Judith. Okay. So anyway, it looks like the uh, the skills skill points in the traditional sense will be gone uh, because when someone went to the Pit Boy in the stats page, it didn't or there wasn't like a there wasn't a stats page in the Pit Boy. So I'm trying to say. Um. But there was a thing that said perk menu. I really hope it's not like uh, a Skyrim skill tree. I really, I really hate the tr the, the tree system. Um, because you know one of the problems with the with that. Yeah, you know, let's just let's just go to the the abilities right now. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. What is this? That's barrier. Okay. So here's a very important thing. Let's take a look at this tree. 
Mind Blast, you, you, you know, you have set, you have different abilities that do different things. You know, they, they are for different jobs. They perform different things. You have Mind Blast, and then you have Barrier, and then you have Dispel. Clearly different things. So why exactly do you need to get Barrier just to get Mind Blast? You know, it would make much more sense if you had all of the um, perks or abilities, what have you. Uh, in this case, abilities. Um, have them listed out like in Origins, right? And the only thing that you will be required to get, like, let's say... Okay, let's picture barriers on the top row. And then let's picture dispels on the second row. Then picture Mind Blast on the third row. The only thing that would come to the right, meaning you would have to get barrier to get anything to the right of that, would be... Well, go figure. Upgrades for barrier! Um... <laughs> And that way, you wouldn't be tied to being forced to get different abilities, you know, just to unlock the ability to get something that's unrelated to it. Uh, you know, you can look through these other trees, and you can get the same thing. Um, let's see. Uh, like, this is spinning in circles. Why would you need to get some weird teleporting attack to spin in circles? It doesn't make any sense. Um... You know, it's like, yeah, I'd rather they go back to the listed stuff. Uh, you know, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, you know, you get perks, you go into a... Fade Knocker, shit. That name that sounds really familiar. Was, what, what was that? Was that art? No, that was a, probably a weapon. Then it's not what I thought it was. Um, I was thinking it was a helmet. I don't remember what it was. Like, damn it, whatever. I was thinking it was uh, one of the helmets that you get near the end of Origins. Um, it's like 75% spirit resistance or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Um, so anyway, yeah. Fallout 3, New Vegas, you know, listed perks. Origins, listed abilities. Although Origins was sort of like a mix because... You know, while it did have listed stuff, which is nice, it also, instead of just ha instead of having upgrades to the right of the ability, it did have uh, sequ sequential stuff. It's sort of like, uh, you know, the later Dragon Age games, where you gotta get an ability to get other abilities. I hate that so much. But whatever, yeah, just list all the shit out, and that's fantastic. Did my... No. No! My game froze. Well, fuck, I guess I'll BRB. Hope I don't forget my point. Uh, shit, I gotta write this down. Shit, what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, fuck. Alright, guys, welcome back. I gotta... Man, I had to walk back. All the way from this camp, can you believe it? I had to redo the Astrarium. It was so hard. Uh, but anyway, I had to finish my thoughts. About the uh, whole skill point and perk talent crap or whatever. Um, basically, um, yeah, don't restrict abilities behind other abilities. Just make that shit skill or your le or level based. Uh, it makes more sense that way. Uh, let's see. But anyway, reason why I don't think this is a bad thing, uh, if the skills are actually gone. I'm hoping it's the way I'm about to describe. Um, uh, because... Okay. <clears throat> In the crafting screen, um, there were things that showed something like, Oh, if you want to craft this item for a weapon... By the way, the crafting things look pretty fucking sweet. You know, you can get these vastly different weapons based on, you know, the same thing. We can now finally have plasma shotguns! And laser... Well, I mean, I mean we had laser shotgun stuff in... Fallout 3, but those were like, that was, I mean, Smuggler's Run was the unique pistol, but you had to do the, the, rep, or, uh, what the fuck was, the quest with the antagonizer and mechanist, what the hell was that called? I don't remember, that was Smuggler's Run, but you had to do it a, cer a certain way to get that shotgun laser type pistol, uh, and then you had the metal blaster, but that was DLC. Um, so of course you would either have to mod in your own laser shotgun, or that, that's what, that is what you were stuck with. Uh, however, now it's like, okay, you get a laser 
rifle, you get a plasma rifle, whatever, as a base weapon, that's fine. They do their things, and then you can just modify them in so many different ways. Um, so that you can, you know, maybe you'll get, pick up two laser rifles now, and then you'll make one specifically for its laser rifling-ness, uh, if you want to call it that way. Um, and then, or then you can make use the other one for a different roll entirely. Maybe you want to make it a sniper roll, although maybe you want to do that with a regular laser rifle version. But then maybe, you know, maybe an automatic laser rifle type of thing. It'd be sort of like the uh, laser RCW, or, yeah, RCW in a New Vegas or something. Um, or you can do the, uh, the shotgun, and there's probably other things you can do, too. Um... But anyway, like, some of the stuff it showed is like, oh, you need gun, uh, gun nut rank 3. Now, if you don't know, gun nut was a, a perk, or is a perk, in Fallout 3. And what do you get ranks of? You get ranks of perks. Now, why do I bring this up? Because on another spot, another item required science rank 2 to craft an item. So, what I gathered from this is that all the skills themselves have been removed and just replaced in the perk section. So now you have science perks and you get ranks, you get repair perks, you get, you know, things like that. Uh, and I actually like this because it got me thinking. Because um, typically, yeah, you know, let's say... Well, actually, let's go... Uh, hold on, what do I want to do here? Uh, yeah, let's just go to this cave. So anyway... I think it's better because it will help balance out the, um, the specials. And how so? I will explain. Hopefully, adequately enough. Um, in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, what's the, what's the best way to play, really? I mean, of course, if you want to do a melee build, you know, maybe you'll do it a little differently. Um, or whatever. But in my experience, there's pretty much a best way to set your specials, and that, of course, is... One charisma, nine intelligence, right from the start. Boom. Now you get now you get enough skill points to uh, max out every skill in the game by the end. Um, and what does that mean? Well, it means if you are a one charisma person, you can still be a master of speech. Um, and it sort of applies the same towards melee and strength. However, there is some exception. I mean, charisma does affect... Uh, the difficulty of cert of you know of speech checks, but it's not all that important when you want to compare it towards all the good things that you know intelligence, for example, would do. All those fucking skill points, or do you want speech checks to be a little easier? Like fuck that, I'll just get a hundred speech and just quick save and reload if I can't get it. Uh, but even then, it's still kind of hard to get all the speech checks. Um, but anyway, so it's similar. It's sort of similar with strength, you know. I mean, I would never recommend one strength, but I suppose you could do it and then max out melee and still be a decent enough melee character, you know? <sighs> Although I would definitely not recommend it. But anyway, so intelligence, it doesn't look like it gives you skill points anymore. Uh, so basically, what this could mean is, now, shit, uh... Well, how do I want to explain this? I don't fucking know. <sighs> there, there, there's, so, there's so many things. There's so many things going on in my head right now. See, what have I already said? Uh, I mentioned the fucking rank stuff. Hmm. Well, anyway, there's like, fuck, yeah, well, I guess I could add. Uh, there are. Less, less uh, special points or whatever to apply at the beginning. Welcome again. So now you actually have to uh, apply it more, depending on you what kind of role you want to play. Let's see. Hey, I did it. I killed the wyvern up in the cave. The body's yours if you want it. That I do. Here for your troubles. I hope you can make good use of it. Okay, so I, I, was, I was doing some thinking. Now I, I know what. I, now I know how to say what I want to say. Uh, so now it seems like if you wanted to make. A speech-based character you know of course I already mentioned you know if you wanted to make a speech-based character in New Vegas and 3 you know you could still do one charisma and then just max out speech with all your super skill points from intelligence now hopefully it actually looks like if you want to make a speech-based character you would actually have to have charisma up so now you are forced to consider 
to put your specials onto whatever role you are playing. Um, so yeah, it, it adds more, I would say it adds more variety. Rather than, oh, well, I guess I'm making a new character. Gee, let's see. I better go look at what what was my special loadout. Oh, open up this Microsoft Word document. Okay, well, I had six strength, whatever perception, whatever endurance, nine intel, one charisma, five or six luck, five or six agility, something like that. And it's like, it's it was like that every time. And it wouldn't matter. Like, okay, I want to use small guns, energy weapons, whatever. It didn't matter. I would just max out everything anyway. So I feel like the way they are they're doing it assuming this is how they're doing it it's it's it you know it's better for the game i would say so i don't think people should be worried uh too much about that uh, but man i am so fucking hyped for uh fallout 4 but yeah my biggest concern would be the paraphrased uh dialogue however uh, but there's something else i have to add about that and i that's really pfft. I think that's all I have to say about the Fallout E3 stuff. Um, I mean, I, actually, no, 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 it isn't. I did see the. This isn't on my list, but yeah, I just thought of it. Uh, Fallout Shelter. That is the. Um, well now met. let's just talk to Charter well first. Met. Well met. I don't think so. I found Butch's corpse by the south road. Then a Tory answered me off. Only our highest officers knew he was coming tonight. I must inform Sister Nightingale we have a traitor. Okay, see ya. I should be going. Farewell. Actually, I, maybe I exposed the double agent. Oh, fantastic. Well met, your worship. Yes. What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. Okay. Uh, see you later then. Let's see. Um. Okay. Now what do I do? Oh yeah, Fallout Shelter. That is the. Uh, like the little iPad, iPhone, whatever the fuck, Apple thing. Um, I really wanted to play that. You know, I was really stoked. I was gonna, I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna hijack my mom's iPad and I'm gonna play that. It turns out I can't. <laughs> she has the wrong fucking iOS. Oh, damn it! I was so heartbroken. I really wanted to play that. But yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I'm. I mean, I love. I really love Fallout. I've, I think it's, it's sort of, it's basically like, uh, what, Hotel Tycoon or whatever you want to call it? Let's see, let's, uh, what do I want to do? Well, I'm not going to Hawk. Let's see, I don't, is this part of, I don't remember if I can get to, I don't know if I can just walk up the, like, the hill to get to this spot, or if I just get there from going through the town, whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything to say about Fallout Shelter, but, uh, other than I kind of, I really wanted to play it. I can't. Um, but whatever. I really wish it was fucking on browser, you know? I have considered what you said about Lord Seeker Lambert, Cole. If it's true, then perhaps he deserved to die. Though it need not have been you who killed him. He would have hurt people. It is not that simple. Why not? He made Templars see monsters instead of mages, made them push until it all fell down. We thought Lambert was assassinated. It made the rebellion worse, and many people were killed. But not by him. <sighs> uh, yeah, cool. Come on, man. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, nothing comes to mind... Uh, nothing else comes to mind with, uh, Fallout 4 related. Uh, or Fallout Shelter. Uh, however, there's Fallout 3 stuff I want to talk about, because stuff I've been doing, sort of, and kind of putting off, and then going back every now and then to do, which is terribly exciting! But, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that when I get the Crestwood, so, beer beat.